Good afternoon. I'm your host, Karen Ambrose Hickey, and welcome to Data Talk with Karen and Kate. We have a great show for you today, but first, let me introduce my co-host, Kate Blatt. Thank you, Karen. I'm so excited about today's topic, which is around social boundaries and your smartphone habits. Mobile devices have become entwined in our personal and our professional lives and occupy larger amounts of our free time. Karen? Oh, oh, sorry. I was answering a technical question on Facebook. Um, yes, our smartphone and increasingly our tablets have been occupying more of our lives, both our social and our business. Exactly. And what we found with the latest mobile workforce report is that 91% of mobile workers check their smartphone during downtime and 61% store it somewhere in their bedroom. Oh, in their bedroom? Talk about smartphone intimacy. Most within arm's reach. Where do you store your smartphone? I personally store my smartphone in a special place in my home office, just like 28% of mobile workers. I can hear its gentle ping, but it does not disturb my sleep at night. Mine shares my pillow. It's amazing how much great data comes out in the middle of the night, and I don't want to miss anything. That can't wait until the morning? I'm not alone. 45% of mobile workers store their smartphone within arm's reach when they go to sleep at night. But is anyone getting any sleep? More than 60% of mobile workers don't wake up to check their smartphone at night. Yes, but what about those that sleep with their smartphones? Um, Kate? <laughs> you got me. If you sleep with your smartphone, you're more than half likely to wake up in the middle of the night and check it. Mostly for work, but for 36% because it pings. Hello! Do you know that you can actually turn off the ping? But what gets me is that another 34% say, because I can't sleep. And you obsessives are even worse. Now, I'm not a doctor, but everybody knows if you're checking a screen before you go to sleep, then you can't go to sleep, and then you wake up, and then you end up checking your screen. But who am I to criticize? Hey, Kate, did you see that email at 4 a.m. this morning from our producer? Uh, never mind. Kate? Oh, I was so sorry. I was answering that email from our producer that we got at 4.30 in the morning. Um, yes, 91% of you admit to checking your smartphone during downtime. This is up from last year's 86%. And let's call out our mobile maniacs. You are the 7% that check obsessively. Your club is getting larger. Just a second, I was expecting um, an important text. That's right, Karen. <clears throat> and although neither of us could claim to be in that camp. No, not us. But doesn't all of this obsessive smartphone checking have a cost? Yes, sadly, nearly 30% of mobile workers admit that their device usage causes friction in their personal relationships. And let me guess. 90% of that is with their significant other or their spouse. Absolutely right. Well, that's our show for today. Next week, the topic is going to be around what people find acceptable with the smartphones. Kate, do tell. I don't want to give anything away, but the topic is on smartphone etiquette. Has the pendulum swung too far? Oh, Kate. That sounds like a hard line to walk, particularly when I'm texting and walking in high heels. But that's all we have today. For more information on our topic, you can go to ipass.com slash MWR. For Data Talk with Karen and Kate, I'm Kate. And I'm Karen. Here's, Here's hoping, hoping we stay connected. connected.